Hey guys, what is up? Your boy Axel here. Um, today we are going to go into more detail about like what this game's about. So this is mostly just, uh, I guess, commentary mostly. Um, this isn't going to be really detailed or anything like that. Probably, oh, I'll take that back. It will be detailed, but like basically, um, you know, it's just stuff like that. So, uh, this game's already been out for iPhone for a couple months now, I believe. I think exactly a couple months i'm not sure about that but it is not out for android phones yet so this is i guess like a sneak peek i guess um and yeah so let's just like start off on the far left i guess so you can buy cards as a shop you can only buy three cards and they refresh daily i believe um there's the crappy common card there's a semi decently priced rate of rare card and the epic card is the very far right one you see as you see um they're the most expensive and um they usually tend to be the best cards to get uh for treasure chests you have to use them with gems on the android you start off with 100 gems i don't know if it's the same for iPhones or not but yeah the ma magical chests obviously the best silver chest i would recommend not buying those because you can pretty much get those just from a uh, any just doing a normal battle the same thing for golden chest but if you want to spend your gems on it that's applicable i guess um you can purchase gold but with gems uh gems you have to tap for info like basically the price um yeah it's just like clash of clans basically fourteen thousand is ninety nine dollars six thousand five hundred is forty nine dollars and so on so now to like what this is basically you have a battle deck and a card collection and then there's a little thing down here where there's cards you have not yet received um there's cards when it says not found basically what that's saying is is that you can get them but you don't have them when it says unlock at arena three and four i'll get to that later on in this, like on the next part but right now we're not at that so we'll just skip that for now under your card collection, it shows all the cards that you have that are currently not in your deck. You can have up to eight cards. Um, so basically, if you want to put them in, you just touch them and you go to use and you just slide it to the one you want to trade it out with. Um, if it's if it's an arrow green arrow, that means you can upgrade it. But each upgrade costs more coins per uh, upgrade. But it does give them, like, you know, more HP and all that kind of stuff. So basically, it's like using the Spell Factory in Clash of Clans, but you can use it, like, unlimited amount of times till it's max level. Um, my battle deck is basically, um, uh, it's kind of hard to explain without playing it, but uh, I have my Prince. He basically is a, a big damage dealer. Tombstone, this is basically where your skeletons come out. They constantly come out, and whenever this thing dies, four of them four actually come out. So, this is more of an annoyance thing than anything, and usually this will be in the very back of your uh, of your place. Uh, Musketeer, I can't really check out the info, but it's not really that special. I just have it in there for right, just, just to test it out. And yeah, uh, I have a giant skeleton. What he does is that as soon as he dies, he blows up the whole field around his uh, general area. It's like it's like, I think two uh, squares or whatever. And uh, yeah, minions. I use those because almost no one can kill them unless they have just like ranged people or whatever. So just dealing with that is kind of annoying. And uh, yeah, the if you have if you have a dragon or a balloon, you want to replace it with a minion, obviously. And yeah. Uh, I have a giant in there. I plan on replacing him soon with something else. Uh, basically, it's just like the giant skeleton, except for when he dies, he doesn't do any extra damage. Um, my barbarian hut is the most elixir costing thing, and basically, each time, uh, I think it's like every one, it's not one second, I believe, it's like a few more. But um, basically, barbarians just spawn out like the skeleton trap does. Lastly, I have uh, my skeleton army. Um, this basically is like 30, <laughs> not 30, like 20, I believe, uh, skeletons. And they can get one shot by almost everything, but they destroy people immensely. So that is something if you have, you want to use. And it, it's also really annoying. It pisses people off. Okay, now going to this screen, the main one, the battle screen. As you see here, you have to, on the very bottom, you have to unlock your treasure chest. You can only do one at a time. There's no extra builders or anything like that, so you have to do it at a time. You can spend your gems to gem them up, 
but that's kind of pointless, honestly. You might as well just save them up. But yeah, uh, the trophy right here is uh, like the best player thing. Uh, that is your activity log. You can share all your attacks and all that. Uh, you want to start training? No, uh, you don't have to do that. That's just training. And here's your achievements. So yeah, uh, when you touch the arena, it tells you like under the arena what you can get from each one so you could get lightning spells from arena one and uh goblin barrels from that one uh on this one that i'm currently at you get skeleton king and balloons which is if you can get a balloon that is great uh as you see bar barbarian bowl you get some extra stuff uh you also get a rage spell and I forgot what the other one is. Pekka's Playhouse at 1,100 trophies is the goods. This is when it gets good. Like, you get your Teslas, your Inferno Towers, and the Hog Riders. Spell, factors all, factor, spell Valley is all right. It has your Wizards and all that uh, kind of stuff. Uh, Royal Arena is Mortars, and Legendary Arena is basically anything at that point. So, yeah. Um, every day you get two free chests. They're basic ones. It's basically nothing that you need. Um... If you do 10 matches a day, it's on a 24-hour reset time. Uh, you get a gold chest to open immediately, and yeah. Um, in the very far right, it's this is called TV Royale. Basically, it's just the best attacks that people like to watch. Um, if it gets enough views, it'll go up here, and yeah. Mostly, this is just people with amazing battles that usually end, end in like close calls. Lastly, this is when you hit level 3. You have your little clan chat. And yeah, um, you can join your clan at level 3 and you can friendly battle them. So if they're online and they accept it, then you can battle your friend and it doesn't do any de uh, trophy reduction towards you. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Uh, and yeah, um, thanks for watching. Feel free to like and subscribe. And yeah, peace out, guys.